What up, people? Hey, we back with another video, man. Uh, my son decided he wanted to work today. I thought he was going to take the day off, but hey, he motivated, man. So let me get on back here in the uh, backyard, see what he working on, see what I can help him out with, which I don't know. I already started helping him, but I decided to go ahead and pull out the camera. So let's see how far he done got with what he got going on. There you go. Over there working. So seats coming out. You got all these uh all the bolts out for the seats. The bolts out for the seat belts. He working on the other seat. Oh, hold on. You gotta be be careful with that. So what you should do is take that star bolt and you would use a hammer and tap it. But that might not be the right. Like you said, you said it might be too small. So there's they put Loctite on those things on the other side. So that's what make them so hard to come out. But this one's tighter than that one. Yeah. But anyway, he got the he got the boat side. So as y'all can see, it's still it's more trash and everything. I I know uh, a lot of people have been waiting on this to see what you know under the under the carpet and stuff look like. So that's what we'll get to in this video. We'll see what it looked like up under the carpet and uh, see what kind of work we got to do up under there. I'm pretty sure it's not bad. Uh, just from the indications I got from the boats that we took off from here. Norm normally this is like real rusty, but it wasn't on this car. So we're gonna see what under these under this carpet look like. Is it turning now? Yeah. All right. So in a few minutes, uh, the seats will be coming out, and shortly after that, the carpet will be coming out. So we gotta get all these seal plates and stuff out, all the panels and stuff like that. And uh, and we'll see what's under here. And I'm gonna show him how to take this back seat out. I don't know if he helped me on mine or if he remembers or not, but uh, you know, it's, it's a little teaching and learning going on. So I'll show him how to get these back seats out, which are pretty easy. But yeah, we working, man. There's always something to do. Oh yeah, I don't know if y'all noticed that, but look at that. Somebody tried to repair that door where the door striker go. Ain't gonna work out, dog. We're gonna have to replace this. Uh, I guess I'm guessing this. Yeah, see that's weak right there. So this gonna have to come off, and we're gonna have to replace it. They actually make a uh, a piece for the. Uh, I don't even know if I had the camera on here, but they actually make a a replacement piece for here. You just cut this out put a new piece in and weld it in smooth it out just like any other body panel uh i think the other side i think the other side look good if i remember correctly yeah the other side is good and y'all know he got his uh he got his vent covers um he showed that to y'all on his page or his channel he got the vent uh things for that so we can actually do a little test fit on that too man that would be nice do a test fit on the vent cover on this side, on the good side. Uh, that'll make they'll make a good reel too. You put you do your uh, your vents, your vent things. So you got that one out. Yeah. So all the seats are unbolted. You need to get all this. Well, that seat already trying to come out, but get all that trash and stuff, and that way we can um, go on and pull these seats out. So he said he ready to uh, pull these seats up out of here, the front seats anyway, and then we'll get to the back seats. So. We got. I need to get this window down. Them windows be in the way when you be working. seats look nice boy them seats in good condition not too bad not too bad 
And then, like I said, on this one, this is a power seat, so it's a um, it's a motor and stuff up under there that's gonna have to be unhooked. I don't really know how it's made, but when you lift it up, I'll just unhook it for you. Hopefully, we can do it like that, and it'll be quick. I ain't got power seats, so I don't know what the motors and connectors look like. That seat may be a little heavier too, but just don't snatch it. So pick it up a little bit off of the back hinges and then just lay it back. There you go, you almost there. All right, hold it right there. It's a connection right here for the seats. So, let's see if I can do it. I'm trying to hold the camera and do it at the same time. Well, that ain't work, but it's out. All right, you good. You can pull it on out. Just watch the steering wheel. All right. And if you can get by, just put that seat heavier, ain't it? You can just leave it over there. Just leave it over there. Huh? I said it's not as much heavier, but Oh. Yeah, probably not as much, not too much heavier because but I just figured because of the motor and stuff. But yeah, so this, she a little cleared out now, y'all. Carpet actually right, don't so look too bad. You just pull the front seats out. I'm gonna show them how to get to these back seats. It ain't hard, right, you just gotta know what you're doing. Out. And it's a bunch of trash out there. Everything too. Y'all see that little canister for the, I yeah. think this for the vent, for the fuel. Yeah, we don't do all this old crap no more. Well, yeah, so we ain't got to worry about vacuuming this or anything. We're going to grab this loose change, though, and add it to the piggy bank. Grab this. Yeah, we gonna grab that chain, dog. A little bug. I don't know where he come from. Uh, hey, get these fuses and put them in that bag, and then here go some change. Oh, get that. Get my socket too. And then here go the rest of your uh, plastic pieces. You don't want to lose them. That make a big difference when you get everything put back together. This computer is gonna come out of here because what we need this for, uh, ECU, whatever it's called, we don't need that anymore. But yeah, she getting cleared out, y'all. And this boy working, he doing his own work. I ain't really helped him do nothing. He doing everything by himself. The bottom seat gotta come out first. So what you have to do is you gotta push back on it you gotta push backwards and then up. So push and pull. I mean, not push and pull, but push back and pull up. And it's on each side. There's a catch on that side and there's a catch on this side. That's, it looked like it's, oh, it's already. So, so all right, so, so much for showing y'all how to uh, take the back seat out. I uh, see somebody that already been in there and unhooked it. Uh, so it is what it is. That just made our job easier. Somebody been in that back seat doing something, uh, trying to hook some up or take some apart or whatever. All right, so now for the back part of the seat, um, it's just like you see where the seat belt's at, but you see that rusty bar coming from it. Yeah, that that's a part of the seat, that's how the seat that back seat is mounted. Actually, so I gotta take this star boat out. Actually, yeah, you would have to take that star bolt out. But since we only worried about the floors right now, you actually don't have to take the back part of that seat out. So we can leave that for now and uh, get this carpet out of here. I'm gonna need to take these off, don't I? Yeah, yeah, that gotta come out. Uh, you don't, you ain't really gotta take it out. You can just loosen up these bolts on the door seals. Right. You can just loosen them up and then the carpet will slide right out. Um. 
But yeah, as far as that back seat, you ain't got to worry about the back part. We can take that out later when we get ready to do another project or whatever. But you're going to have to take these bolts out or just tear it for now. see what this uh what this look like up under here oh man look at that that look clean we'll see though we got to keep going so we got seal plate out on that side see what it look like under this seal plate so some dirt and leaves and stuff like that up under here but it don't look bad Everything is solid. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out, man. So we can get the reveal. Cause I know how them G body floors be, but I got a feeling this is a good one, dog. Got a feeling this is a good one. It's your project, dog. Do it how you wanna do it. It's fine of all this stuff on Yeah. And what you, I mean, probably the best thing to do is like roll it so that all that trash won't get, you know what I'm saying? Not like roll it, roll it, but like fold it over so all the trash won't get in there. Either way, we're going to have to vacuum, so it really don't matter, honestly. See what we looking like. And then take the front of the carpet and pull it to the back and just... Take it out like a taco. I'll help with this side. I'm trying to anyway, without getting too much in the way. That carpet on up out of there, dog. Say so working, we working. Well, he working. I ain't really doing that. I'm just here. You can just rip it out, man. It ain't. Hey. No, that's the, that's the plastic. Oh. There you go. You just got to get it from up under that accelerator. This carpet definitely was in here good. I'll tell you that. So I'm going to go ahead and start. You all right? Yeah. Oh. I'm going to go ahead and start pulling this uh, sound deadener. See? It's, all, it's always surprises, man. It's always surprises. But guess what? It's still solid. It's solid. Ain't no holes. So we catching it at a good time. Oh, hold on. Is that ash? Oh. Well, broke the ashtray. I don't think you're going to be needing that, though. You can actually take that and put cup holders right there but we broke that piece oh well so just take the carpet for now we're gonna have to piece together this other stuff so you don't yeah no no don't 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 rip that off from it just take the cold carpet out you gotta make sure it ain't still stuck though you gotta make sure it's apart there you go Go ahead and take it on out. You can just rip that piece so it'll come loose. Let 
There you go. And the carpet is out. Now, like I said, we'll see what's all up under here. Like I said, this is solid, but it's surface rust. I put it like that. Actually, the driver's side is better than I it's better than I expected. I thought the driver's side was gonna be worse than the passenger side. Cause I thought, if I remember correctly, it was a leak from that window over there. But uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna clean this up, sand it down, do the same thing like I did in my uh, in my car. We're gonna seam all these seals and we're gonna coat this thing, man. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it the right way. We're gonna preserve it. Uh, you can get, you can take that. Hello. Surface rust. Nothing a little poor 15 or anything y'all suggest won't, you know what I'm saying, won't help. Get a little poor 15 in here or some rust encapsulator and we good. Like it's, it's definitely solid. I'm telling you, I wish I had this in my car. I wish this what my floor pans look like. Like I said, this is the only problem area, but it's still solid. It's not it's not eating through or anything. But you can tell that it was uh you know definitely holding some moisture back here a little bit. This ain't bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. All right, so this is what it's looking like after he done vacuumed. Get a little close up. What it looked like. You stopped my video. Yeah. And like I said, this is the this is really the problem area, but it ain't gonna be too much of a problem. We gonna get that. It's still uh, solid, so we are gonna take care of that. We are gonna get our seam sealer done. It won't be in this video, but we're gonna get it done. Seam sealer. We're gonna knock all this stuff down and we're gonna do a uh, rust encapsulator or either pour 15. We don't know which one we're gonna do yet. Probably whichever one is more cost effective. Uh, but this is what it's looking like, y'all. I know a lot of people was waiting on to see what that floor looked like and we ain't got no secrets over here. We ain't hiding nothing. This is actually not too bad for a G body, I tell you that. I don't know what you, you know, however you think or however you feel, whatever, man, I know this is definitely not bad for a G body. So I know it might look crazy or it might look bad, cancerous or whatever the case may be. But uh, if you've been following me for a while, you know what mine look like. And y'all know how we brought that thing back. We're gonna do the same thing over here. Cause we working dog. We gonna get it together. And he and he he did my floor mainly. Him and uh him and his brother. I had them out there seam sealing, had them busting rust, and uh and putting the rust encapsulator on there. So we definitely gonna get it right. We gonna do this thing one time and be done with it. Ain't no use to playing around. <laughs> 